Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about more uh, in depth on my priority hold circuit so far. I've not finished the program for it yet, but I think I have made a fully working circuit at this point. In my last video I detailed sort of what these connections do, but I'm going to go over them again quick. So. Uh, basically, though, Priority Hold is just a system that was developed uh, by Western Electric Bell System, and it would create a special winking flicker pattern that would be much faster, going at about 12 interruptions per second. It required two specialty line cards that would... One of them was a special flutter generator, and the other one was a supplementary hold detector. Originally, it could only do two lines so that uh, you would hook it up to whatever two lines and if it detected a supplementary hold, it would switch the lamps from one or both of those lines to the extra flutter generator so that then you would get the priority hold flutter. And I'm still going to have to finish up uh, actually getting the program to go on priority hold and be able to switch relays back and forth but what I have here is an Arduino Nano and this is hooked up to these four relays each relay has a clamping diode across it so that when you turn it off it doesn't fry the Arduino because otherwise you get a spike of electricity in the opposite polarity of what you applied so clamping diodes and then the common lead of each relay is punched down to my punch block for the lamp lead so the common wire is the lamp lead for each line so this is the outgoing wire to the phones normally closed is connected to these screw terminals up here so the first four are line one, two, three, and four. Normally, uh, basically the normal lamp leads. So if you were to go up here, these are the normal lamp leads. So those are normally connected. And then normally open of all the relays are common together with this red wire, which goes to this H bridge and Basically what this is doing is it receives a signal from the Arduino's pin 6 and this will tell it to turn on and off. I'm using two of the outputs from this H bridge. Both of them are common together to the um, normally open and then I just soldered wires directly underneath that go to both. Because the H bridge you can basically tell it to do either negative or positive turning it on or off and um, that so far has all worked just fine for my testing and basically the H bridge power for the positive 12 volt is actually positive uh, lamp power for my system I converted it to DC because there's no need for me to actually have AC power and I think it's actually safer for the lamps in the long run. So if you're using a system like this, you'll have to convert your system over to DC or go through a lot more trouble of trying to make it work with AC, but DC is just safer in general for these circuits. And so since my lamp power supply is DC, I actually have the positive 9 volt DC, which this is my lamp power. So the wire that is connected to my lamp leads is positive. And negative is connected to ground. And this is the same ground as my whole key system. So it's actually negative ground, which I know is opposite of what normal telephone stuff is. But since this operates better with negative ground, the Arduino, that was necessary to have that be negative ground. So what I've done is the H bridge has a 5 volt regulator if the power provided is under 12 volts. Uh, so 
uh, just the 12 volt uh, positive, and then there's ground, so those are connected to my uh, ground for my key system and the positive 9 volt. And then the positive 5 volt pin there is going to my Arduino. And also there's a ground wire from my Arduino going to ground. And this way then the Arduino is grounded to my key system. So I can then go ahead and sense um, what I need to for putting it in a priority hold condition. Um, and so an interesting note with priority hold is it seems like even the original circuit operated similarly where it had leads that were connected directly to the A leads for the line cards. So then it could actually sense if the line was accessed, if the line was dead, if the line was on hold, and when you press priority hold, it temporarily will switch another wire that's inside of the key phone to whatever lead is being put on hold. You can actually see this demonstrated that if you press a hold key, the lamp will, the line card will go on hold and it'll start flashing, but it won't actually be released until the hold key is let go. So this key here I've modified pr for priority hold, and so this has another lead inside of it that will temporarily connect for as long as it's being pressed down, and then it'll release and put the line on hold in the same. Um, so what I've done down here, this lead here is labeled IH for um, I hold or priority hold. I've wired my system for priority hold though, so all key phones display the priority hold condition. And then this uh, wire here is going up to the five volt supply. And so what it's doing is, since the Arduino is grounded to the key system, then when I select a line, and I'll go ahead and show you the serial monitor here in a second so you can actually see the readings from the Arduino. The A leads for line one, two, three, and four are connected to the A1, two, three, and four on the Arduino. A0 is connected to my interrupter ground. So whenever my interrupter starts up, A0 will be able to sense if that pin for the interrupter is grounded or not. So then we can go ahead and say, okay, if the line has been put on hold and the person hangs up, if the interrupter stops, we for sure know the line is dead and we should release it from priority hold. And um, anyway, it's important to note in my last video, these were all directly connected. A1, 2, 3, and 4 were directly connected to these CAT6 wires. This CAT6 cable contains um, white, blue, um, white, orange, white, green, white, brown, which I'm using as my new lamp leads since I disconnect the previous ones and connect them up here. And then uh, the standard blue, orange, green, and brown solid wires, those are connected to my A leads for the different lines. So, uh, since the Arduino is grounded, it'll normally sense some sort of negative variable, and the A lead, uh, or the A pins on the Arduino, will be able to sense from 0 to 1,000 something, it's sort of an odd number, but um, you'll sort of get a variable in between there, depending on what the line card is doing but if we go ahead and select priority hold we'll get a slightly different reading when that is pressed and so then we'll be able to go ahead and put that in the program later to actually be able to say okay if we detect this certain amount amount of power we know we just put it on priority hold so that then we can switch the relay and turn on this interrupter so that uh, we can get the priority hold flutter.
I'm gonna go ahead and show you quick. Um, we might need to restart this. So there, these are the current live readings every 500 milliseconds, I believe, of the Arduino's A1 uh, lead. So this is line one right now live. And so we can see right now live one is, uh, line one is dead. So this is the dead reading of the line. This is around 300. If we select the line, it'll spike up to near a thousand. So we're getting 897, so 900. It depended on how many wires I connected before. Each time I revise my circuit, the readings change a bit. Um, I can't remember now, but basically there's a 300K resistor, which is important. There's a 300K resistor in between these A pins and the actual A leads of the key system. The reason why is if you connect them directly, all the lines will be selected together and it causes really weird stuff where sometimes the Arduino will turn on without any power and it's just bad. So the 300K is necessary to isolate it from the lines so it doesn't put them on hold or select them or any weird stuff. So 300K resistors are going in between each one and then to the wire. And anyway, if we, so this is dead. If we select the line, we get a different reading. If we put the line on hold, we get 390, which is still a bit above the dead reading, which is 300. And that's enough that I'll be able to make a code off of that to be able to say that this line is on hold or not. And now I'll go ahead and show you if I were to select the line, so this is selected, again around 900, then if I press the priority hold key, we'll get around 700, which previously we did not see a 700-ish reading. And so we only see that 700 if the priority hold key is detected. So we can actually go ahead and make this code now of being able to see that the line is either dead, selected, on hold, or priority hold. And then if we find a priority hold condition, I'll have to go ahead and put that line into a loop and say to keep the relay open or keep the relay powered until the reading changes to about 300 for a dead condition or if the line is reselected. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about priority hold or Arduino programming or 1A2 phones, any of those things, let me know. I'm happy to answer. I'm going to make another video once I have uh, further developed this code. Right now it's very basic. Um, I can actually show you what the flutter looks like though for priority hold. If we change relay 2, so this is line 2, to high. And now we go ahead and upload this. It'll turn on line two's relay. And I've already told it that I want um, the flutter generator on. And so now you can actually see the difference between priority hold flutter, the regular hold, and obviously on. It definitely provides some more variety in your lamps. And now we can see that we also have priority hold on my other phones. I gotta clean up my room, but um
yeah so anyway if you have any questions just let me know and I'll make another video once I've worked on this code a bit more